There you go. Good. All righty. Happy Magic Monday. So today, sorry, I have some stuff on the camera. Today I have um, a, uh, what's a good word? <laughs> today I have a Princess and the Frog um, Tiana inspired card. Um, and I just, it turned out really cute in the end. I wasn't sure about it at first, but, um, I wanted to make sure I told you about it right now. I wanted to make sure you guys knew that we're having a big sale, um, on, um, we're having a big sale, uh, for all of the, um, we're having a big sale on all of the, um, let me share this. No. There we go. Okay. We're having a big sale on all of the, um, um, uh, retiring items. That's the word. Uh, we're having a big sale on all the retiring items. And so the retiring items are, um, the ones that are not coming to the new catalog that's coming this, um, June. So this current catalog retires in May and the new catalog comes out in June. So all of the in colors, I've telling you for a few weeks, the Just Jade, the Magenta Madness, the Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, all of those colors will be gone. Already some of those um, items are selling out because um, people fell in love with those colors. They don't want to let them go. Um, sometimes I'll do that too. I'll stock up on a certain um, paper because I was in love with the color. Um, Seaside spray. I caught, I, I stocked up on that one because it's a little bit Cinderella. -y. <laughs> and so, um, and so I wanted to remind you of that. Um, and also all of the, um, paper is, um, most of the paper is being discount from the annual catalog. A lot of the paper is being discounted. Um, and so I wanted to remind you of that. And then the last thing I want to remind you of is that the mini stamp cut in a boss machine is only available until the 31st at 20% off. And so hi, Carol. And so I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that so that you could pick one up if you have, um, haven't, that means it's only $48. It's normally 60. And so thanks for sharing. Um, and so I wanted to make sure you guys could pick that up. And also some of the bundles are also on sale, like the Wildcats bundle, that one's on uh, sale, 20% off. There's a lot of different bundles with the dyes that are on sale right now. So, and they're normally 10% off, but then they've added an extra 20% off those bundles. So that means you're getting 30% off a bundle. That's huge. 30% off those bundles is a lot of money. Um, because some of the dyes are very expensive because it just take, it's just harder to make them because they're metal. It's just, it just takes more, it's more costly to make them. So they're just a little bit more expensive. They're our most expensive item, I think. Um, so I wanted to, um, make sure you are aware of all of those deals. Please go and shop. This is my host code. Please go and shop. Um, you can go to fabulousstamper.com or you can go directly to Stampin' Up and add this host code when you're checking out. There's a little like, it'll ask you for like, as you're checking out where your total is, there'll be like a little plus sign and you plus on that and it says host code and you enter in this little code and that way I get credit, okay? So yeah, so I just wanted to let you know. Don't forget if you share this video, comment and share. You have to comment and share. If you comment and share this video, then I put you in for a drawing for the cards that I make today. So there you go. All right, well, we'll, we'll get started. It's a pretty, well, it takes a little time to color, but um, but it, I think it turned out really cute in the end. So, oh, I almost lost my, almost lost my, my camera. I got a better setup for my camera. So we're gonna be using this stamp set today. Whoa, all the blocks came out. We're gonna be using this stamp set today. Um, this is the Princess um, Prince and Princess. There we go. Let me get this up a little higher. Uh, so we can see. There we go. I had to move the camera and so my move my arm, my camera arm, so it's made it a little challenging to make sure I can get it perfectly centered. So um 
This is the Prince and Princess um, stamp set. And I wanted to um, uh, showcase it because I just love it. Now you can only get this stamp set when you host a party that earns $150 or more. Uh, you can also get this um, stamp set when you spend $150 or more, but you need to order it with your rewards. Okay, so this qualifies as a reward. Um, you can't buy it with just straight cash. You have to get it with your rewards. So if you have want to have a class um, between now and um, the end of and May, um, and we could do it online. It's we could do it face to face. And you, if you have to earn at least one hundred and fifty dollars or more, and then you will get um, your credits of fifteen dollars. It's like ten percent for every. Um, for after $150, you earn 10%. I have the little um, code here, actually. Let me show you. Uh, rewards. I have my little quick resource. There we go, 14. Here it is. Okay, so this is in your catalog as well. I don't know if it's easy to find on, um, on the website. But so if you earn 100, you need to earn $150 to get your 10% off. That's you need to sell or buy 150 uh, to get 10% in credits. So if I, if I sell or buy $150 worth, I get $15 in reward credits that I can use on anything I want. And then it continues to increase as you increase your sales obviously. And that's just for anyone. If you just want to host a little party, it's kind of like when you have the pampered chef. I think it's the same kind of concept when you have pampered chef and that kind of stuff. Now, when you get to the higher levels, you earn 14, 16%, but you also can get one free, one fifty percent off item, which is pretty cool. Um, and so I got my mini stamp cut and emboss, and I also got my blocks I got this giant set of blocks, and that's how I have the blocks um, that I was, I've was i been showing you recently, the ergonomic blocks. Um, I think it was like $75 or something like that for the blocks, and I got them for $35. So that's pretty cool, 30-something, um, um, or maybe it was 70 So, I mean, it's really cool, and uh, I, like I said, you can only earn it through one of these parties, so you just let me know and um, give me a heads up, and we'll go from there. So... Uh, I really would like for you to earn this um, if you can. And the other thing we're featuring today is the pattern party paper that is also a host reward if you um, have a qualifying order. It is 48 sheets. Yep, 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. And I'm just going to show you the paper here real quick. One side of it is all black and white. One side of it is all black and white designs. So it's pretty cool. It has very neutral, you know, that one is a little bit fallish, but you could even make it spring. Um, so one side of the paper is all black and white. The other side of the paper is all color. And you have a variety of different designs. You have, you know, just the hearts, the floral. I love this one, this mermaid one. I've used this for the little mermaid. Um, and so this is the one that we're gonna use today. And I actually really love this one here. I don't know why I like these little half semicircle shapes, but I just like that design. I just think it's cute. So you'd be getting 48 sheets of these papers, okay? So it's a really, really good deal um, for this particular pack of paper if you earned the rewards for it. So enough chatting. Let me get my little table. So here's our card for today. Super cute. We're going to be making um, a Princess and the Frog inspired card. And I just thought it would be super cute to make something Princess and the Frog. Now, she doesn't have all the warts and stuff, but that's okay. It's inspired by Princess and the Frog. It's not actually a Disney product, obviously. So I like to just take these different designs and become inspired on how to make something that you wouldn't have thought of. So let me set aside our stamp set. Okay, and let me get our ink. Evening Evergreen. I'm gonna use Evening Evergreen ink. There we go, we're gonna use those gems. I stamped one already, but I didn't like how the coloring was coming out, and so I'm actually 
I'm gonna see if I can mess with this and fix it later to something else that I'll like better. Um, but I think I have enough room for a frog on here. No, I need another piece. There we go, I have a, a spot right there. No, I don't. There we go, right there. I was gonna say I knew I had space. And we're gonna be using this sheet of the um, pattern play paper. And this is granny apple green, this is soft sea foam, and this is the pattern play paper, okay? And so just nice little paper. Um, let me get my evening evergreen and stamp my little froggy. I did, instead of using black, I thought it was good to use something like evening evergreen so that you were adding that little bit of um, extra dimension, okay? Set this aside. And I'm also gonna need granny apple green. Okay. And then we're gonna be doing granny apple green. I got a scrap piece of paper over here because I'm gonna throw this out. I'll try to keep this paper pumpkin one clean for a little bit. So for our label, what I did was I wanted to use this cute little lily pad. I wanted to add a little something more to my label and so I'm using the lily pad to add a little more. Okay, so let me get my, my granny apple green, which coordinates with our colors. Now, if I stamped it directly with the direct granny apple green, it's fine, but when I go to stamp my little princess over the top, it is, whoops, my, it's crooked. When I stamp little princess over the top, it's like you can't really read it because the granny apple green is just a little too dark. So what I recommend is you stamp it twice. so you get your lighter green, okay? And that way I can stamp and I can still see my lettering, okay? So that's just a trick that I've learned over time that if I wanted, oops, uh, I put it in the wrong one. I knew that was gonna happen. I usually try to only keep one pad open at a time. So I don't put them in the wrong one. Luckily, Evening Evergreen is a darker color. So our Granny Apple Green is lighter than Evening Evergreen, so it won't mess up my, my, um, my ink pad. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my little lighter Granny Apple Green um, uh, lily pad just right there in the center. And let me close up my Granny Apple. We're done with that. What are you crying about? Okay, and then we'll take my little princess. I love the sentiments in this stamp set. It's just so perfect. Oh, there's a cat outside. There we go. And we've got our little princess layered there. And then we've got, oh, our crown. We need to do our crown. I'm just, I set, I was set aside the frog because I wanted the frog to dry before I start using the alcohol markers on them. And so that's why I'm kind of like taking a little time before I finally, oh, I don't have a dog. I just have three cats, but I hear they get angry when another cat is outside. They get a little, defensive they'll see the cat and they'll start to fight with through the window with the other cat it's like weird but what can you do um all right so we have our little um crown oh gosh got a bunch of ink on my thumb so here's a trick if you open your your ink pad and you get a bunch of ink on your your hand I actually have alcohol wipes close to my um, workstation because um, 
alcohol wipes actually help keep these sticky. Um, so like, you know, sometimes these little stamps won't continue to stick to the block. So if you clean them off with a little bit of alcohol, they stick right back on, no problem. Someone else told me you can also wash them in dish soap and that'll help and they'll be sticky again too. I just happened to find out about the alcohol wipes and use that. So we need to stamp our little crown. Yeah, I have three cats. And then of course the neighborhood cats will eventually wander around sometimes and that'll upset the apple cart. And so, and so my kitties get a little out of hand. Now I get to order from the new catalog starting next week because I'm a demonstrator. That is one of the perks of being a demonstrator. I'm not going to lie. One of the perks is you get to order early. You get to see the catalog now that we have the catalog online because I'm a demonstrator. So if you can't wait to see the new catalog and you would like a discount and you would like to order early, joining Stampin' Up! reminds me a lot of being like a Costco membership because when you join Stampin' Up! it's kind of like it's a hundred dollars you get a hundred and twenty five dollars worth of products and um you know you get a discount you get 20 percent off um you get exclusive access to items sometimes there's items that they don't have in the catalog but you can buy as a demonstrator and then they also have different groups that you can join but i really just joined for the discount that's really my priority is a discount i'm not gonna lie and um it's my uh how i see it it's like a costco membership you sign up you do what you need to do you get your discount i get early access to all the product i want i don't have to wait in the same way that others do you know um i also get like i said exclusive products i can buy things in uh different ways no baby no please don't climb up here no no come on go go no 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 go Bubba. Um, and so it's pretty, um, it's pretty cool. I love being a demonstrator with Stampin' Up. They're a good company. And then you, of course, if you want to turn it into a business, you can, but I actually just joined it originally to just, um, to just have a, a discount. And then eventually I thought, you know, I should do some videos and some classes with my friends because my friends really liked crafting and so I started doing more and more with it as a business and that's where things started so I don't usually color right over the um the lines too much because I tend to find that they'll bleed if you're not careful so you can color over them it's not going to hurt them totally but sometimes they'll bleed because the alcohol um, when it's black, you don't have to worry about that. But when it's a color like this, a colored ink that you use, the alcohol can make your lines bleed a little, the darker lines that I'm referring to. But overall, it usually doesn't do too much. It depends on how much alcohol you, alcohol marker you use on it. So if anyone wants to join Stampin' Up, just go to fabulousstamper.com, click on join my team, and um, join my fabulous team. And then we have meetings, crafting meetings, and get-togethers, which I really like. Sometimes they're open to the public if anyone can come, and sometimes they're a little bit more, um, not exclusive, but, well, yeah, I guess exclusive, because they're a little bit more exclusive for um um, just for the, that's part of it. Okay. I put a little light old olive. So this is light granny apple green. And let me get my light granny apple green again. And then I put the old olive on it. I like the mix of these two together. It just gives a little bit of darkness, but not too much. And then I put the light over it again to just kind of change it up a little. I don't want too much of the olive color. 
And then I took the dark granny apple and I colored all of the little bumps. And then added just some more texture and stuff here. Just adding a little bit down his chest here, or her chest, to um, so I could just get a little bit more shading. Is this the light? Yeah, this one's the light. And so then you take the the light one on top, and you add it to blend it a little bit more. So that it's not so obvious a line of different. I wanted just to, her to have like a little bit of a little a belly design. And let's see, is that everything? I think so. The only thing we're missing, um, let me go ahead and stamp this again. Because I want to practice a couple eyelashes. I had a couple, I had done one. The one I did last night was fine but I kind of want something a little bit different. So let me try two and see what I like. There are two options that I had and I think the way I designed them was a little funny. So I take my black marker and I was thinking about going off to the side as like lashes or I could go down like that for lashes. I'm trying to decide which one I like better. The, the ones off to the side. And then of course I have these ones here where the little ones going up, but I realized if her eyes are closed, they should be going down. I guess maybe the ones that are down might be good yeah I'm gonna eat right after you Carol because I am hungry and so I think so that it looks like a female frog you know we need it to look a little more feminine just a touch just a touch Right. Oh, and this is Daffodil Delight that I'm coloring my crown. And then I'm gonna take my scissors. Yeah, I think down was a little bit better too. I was having trouble. And I'll save this little frog for another time. I just didn't like the coloring and I need to fix the coloring up. So my little trick is always to just keep my extra pieces for a stamp set inside the case. And that way when I go to use it again, sometimes I'll already have the piece I need and I don't have to do it again. All right, so we're gonna cut our little crown. We're gonna cut off the bottom of it. We're not going, and then we're just going to add a little border around the outside because trying to cut this without the border was a little too much. I, I don't know how I would have done it. It's a little too small to fussy cut it like perfectly clean. And I don't want it to look ugly. All right, perfect. All right, so we've got our little crown. Let's cut out our little frog. 
our little Tiana. And how I made it a little more, it's not, like I said, a perfect Disney um, replica, obviously. It's just Disney inspired. I know I could have made this the prince from, um, I actually wanted to have two different frogs, but I need to get my Stamparatus out. I've only just started using my Stamparatus. Oh, and by the way, if you guys were talking about joining Stampin' Up, your $99 is your choosing, products of your choosing. So if you wanted to get a Stamparatus and a mini cut and boss, you could get it and that would be your $100 basically. It's anything you want with that $99 and you get $125 total. And so, all right, so we went ahead and we put our little, um, our, cut out our little frog. So I'm gonna get a glue dot and pop her little crown on. There it is. I was gonna say, don't tell me I lost a crown. I set it down. Okay, we'll get our little glue dot. I love these glue dots. They're just enough to pop up your, whatever you're um, making. And so I put it right here. So it's a little bit before the eye, but it's not too much. And then we put dimensionals on the back of, um, I'm going to use up these small ones because I have them. Oh wow, there's a lot of glue showing from that crown. There we go. I love that I can entertain Carol while she while she washes dinner, washes um uh, makes dinner, washes up the dishes. I like that I'm that kind of entertainment. It's good. <laughs> oh, I got good news today. I didn't, I, I'm still waiting for the job, but in the meantime, um, I've been temp, I've been reassigned to a different department and which is a good thing because I needed to leave my current job, um, be reassigned to a, a different position where I'm not teaching or find a job somewhere else within the government. And luckily they told me that um, I've been reassigned. Now I'm still hoping for that other job because that other job would be really great. And I really would appreciate um, the other job. I think it's just up my alley and I just think it, I've, I just feel like it just feels right. Um, it's hard to leave my students because I love them so much, but it does feel right as a job. Um, so let me go, um, so the good news is, is I have a backup plan. And I guess that's what I was trying to say. Now this um, ribbon here is the Old Olive and Pretty Peacock ribbon. It's reversible. So you have Old Olive on one side, and then you have Pretty Peacock on the back, which I love. I love the Pretty Peacock side just as much. I love the glitter on the Old Olive side. Now I added this ribbon, it's not granny apple green, which it looks like the card that we're making, but there is quite a bit of, of not quite a bit, but there's some old olive, you know, that I've added to my frog. And I guess I just wanted that little extra bit of sparkle. Oh, I forgot to put my, my um, die down. Now this, this die cut piece comes from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I just love them. They're so great. Um, yes, he does give me the desires of my heart, Carol. Amen to that. And so I figured if the Lord wants me to be in this other position and, you know, I'm blessed with that, I will be grateful. And if not, he has also blessed me with this secondary position, which is also a benefit for my health, which is the main reason why I needed to move. So... One way or another, I'm still being blessed with what I need from the Lord, you know? And so, fingers crossed, it, you know, for the other job still, you know, and prayers up. 
So, so yeah, so these Stitch So Sweetly dies are fantastic. And I used the second largest one. I didn't want to put the frog right on it. She was a little too big um, if I were to stamp her. I mean, I could have stamped her, but I think it adds some great dimension to have her have the, just the, this is just the background. And many times these are seen as just labels, but you can actually use these large, die cut pieces as a background piece, a background layer. And that's what I wanted to do with this here. And so I've got good news in that way. And my, my interview was on Thursday. So Friday, I'll be able to tell you how the interview went and go from there. All I can think is I'm meeting the boss of the boss of the boss that I met the other day. And so it's just a different kind of um, interview. You know, and so I think it's a high stakes job. Like they want to make sure someone good is in there, someone really good and that wants to be there because it's for, um, it's for uh, evaluating high risk trainings. And so they need people that are dependable. They don't want someone that's going to be flaky and not take care of, you know, well, because it's for pe people's lives are at stake, you know, high risk trainings, um, you know, like they teach you how to, um, you know, like survive in the wild, how to survive underwater and drown. And, you know, they don't teach you how to drown, but you know what I mean? Like how to get out of a drowning situation. That's the best way to describe it. So these are intense trainings that have a lot of high risk safety wise. So they really want someone dependable, I think. And that's why I've got a third interview. Although I kind of wished there's this meme. I'm going to share it with my Facebook page so that you guys can see. It cracked me up. It says, um, it has a guy in an interview and he says, your resume is just a picture of three cats. And he said, yes, sir. And if you hire me, you'll get more every single morning. <laughs> I thought, and then the guy and then the, the manager hires him and says welcome aboard and I was thinking you know what I really hope my interview <laughs> on Thursday is as smooth as that because that would be awesome yeah I'll send you cat pictures just hire me it's cool so that would be really awesome but um we'll see I'll just pray about it and go in with confidence and just hope for the best because it, it'll be in the Lord's hands I'll just try my very best and turn it over to him and so I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I'm just not cocky, but just confident that whatever happens is going to be the right thing. So I'm trying to just keep focused on that and not let my anxiety go nuts, you know. So, all right, we'll put our little, her little frog. She's so cute. I love the little eyelashes. I think she needed that. She also needed a little bit of um, bling. Okay, so now for the little princess... Oh, see, I think I put this down a little bit too low, um, my my ribbon. I think it should have been a little bit higher, but it's glued down because um, I should have put this on first before I started to mess with the frog, uh, put the frog down first before I did that. It's just a little bit low because it's like touching the crown. It's not bad. It's just not what I wanted. Um, so... Um, you know, spatially, it's kind of weird to do it upside down. So when you have a label that's too small for your ribbon, see, if I were to put the lay, if I put the dots just right on here, let me see if it works. I, I think it'll flip. Let me try it and see. Usually it'll flip over. It won't stay in place when I place it directly on the ribbon. So let me check. I want to check it because sometimes it'll flip and sometimes it'll stay flat. Let's see if it works because it's just on ribbon, so it's easily repositional. No, I guess it worked. Oh, it did work, okay. Sometimes, oh no, see it's flopping. Yeah, that's why I didn't want that. It's moving around a little too much because the ribbon is pretty, is almost as wide as my tag. You need to put your dots, your dimensionals. I wanted to try it just to see. Because it's not often that, I, usually I want my ribbons larger than, or my labels larger than my ribbon. But I didn't do that this time. Oh, and I have a little wink of Stella that I added to my um, 
I added to my crown. I think I added it here too. And so I just wanted to, and I might add a little bit to some of her dots. I'll do that in a minute because I want to also put some gems on there. So when you have a tiny label and the ribbon is larger, you put it along all four corners and that way it's stable. When it, It'll touch a little bit of the card and it'll manage to touch the ribbon. I'm actually going to put six. I know it's probably too much, but because I want it to really secure to the card and the ribbon at, at one time. And that way it doesn't flop around because sometimes if you just put it right on the ribbon, it'll like flip a little. It'll twist up and twist down so that it doesn't lay flat. And I don't want that because the ribbon will naturally move. I guess I could have put it there. I guess I could have put it a little higher. But see, I wanted that little bit of Come on. There we go. There we go. And so we've got our little princess going. And then I wanted to use, these are not sold out yet, um, but thank you, Carol. Um, these are not sold out yet, but they are retiring. Um, they're not, I don't, I don't think they're bringing these ones back next year. Um, I'm pretty sure these ones are retiring um, because I, um, what are they called? Jewels. Um, they're going to come out with something, um, something different using the in colors next year. I'm kind of um, bummed because I really like these um, jewels. I thought they were really cute. Um, I think that they're just the right size. I like rhinestones. I always like rhinestones. Let's see, where are they? Um, yeah, they're, these are discounted actually. These are retiring and they're discounted to only $5.60 right now. They're normally $7. So that's excellent. So that's a good price. So I decided to go ahead and take the Evening Evergreen rhinestones and I decided to just pop a few onto her back. And so I put a couple on the small spots. Um, and then I took a large one and put it right here on this spot here. And then I realized I should probably take some Winkastella and just color the ex the other moles with some gold, some glitter, just to get a little something. Just a little something else on her that's glittery. But I thought, how fun is that to make her little moles colored with rhinestones, you know, make it a little more. Um, uh, are Oh, are they retiring too, Carol? Oh gosh, this I love those Stitch So Sweetly dies. Usually they'll replace them with something else that's good, but man, those are good dies. These are really, really good dies. So these are retiring, guys. So if you like these Stitch So Sweetly dies, get them now because they are retiring. And when they sell out, they're sold out. That's it. And so we've already had some stamp sets sell out. Normally we don't make the stamp sets sell out, but I think because of costs, when the stamp sets sell out, they're done. That's it. They're not going to make any more. That's it. So um, I think it's just changed the business model a little bit. It's stamping up because of our shortage of supplies. And so, but how cute is our little card? I did like it a little bit further up. You see, I think it looks a little bit better with it further up, but it's still so sweet. Such a sweet little card. Let me add some Winka Stella to this, the little moles of this one here. Because Winka Stella just adds a little bit of glitter to your project. Just a touch, just a shimmer, more like a shimmer, not glitter. 
just a little shimmer to things. But yeah, how cute are they? I mean, I just love this card. I thought it, I didn't think I was going to love it because the frog is just such a bull frog, you know? Um, I was thinking maybe I could do where the two frogs are kissing if I, um, if I do it just right. I could probably have it where the two frogs are kissing. Like one would be a boy, one would be a girl. And so that would be cute. So... Well, thanks for tuning in. That's our our craft today. Only one card today. And I'm going to go make dinner. I'm super hungry. And so I'm going to diet. And so luckily everything's made. I just have to go heat up one little thing and I'm good. Uh, Mondays are a little busy. So I tried to make sure my food was ready. Otherwise, I would have just gone for a go-to of pizza, obviously. Because, I mean, who doesn't love pizza? I love pizza. It's my favorite. I don't know why that is our favorite American food as a whole. Everyone seems to love pizza, but we've we've made a <laughs> not a pattern, but our like it's our like go-to for fast food. So, well, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks Carol for always being so supportive. I always appreciate anybody that watches. Because I'm just talking to myself here half the time. It's kind of nice when I know that someone's watching so that I don't feel um, so alone about it. And so I really appreciate all of your support and just tuning in. And um, make sure you share, comment, and share. And I'll put you in for a drawing for the cards I make in this. Um, sometimes only one person, like Carol, will comment. And then she'll get cards. So I'll put it in for the drawing and then go from there. So... All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.